In this video, we're going to solve the equation x squared minus 6x squared equals 7 times x squared minus 6x minus 12. You might notice that we have this block reoccurring of x squared minus 6x and x squared minus 6x squared. Because that block reoccurs, to make it easier to work with, we're going to introduce a new variable y and solve with a little substitution. If we make y equal to that block of x squared minus 6x, and y squared would be that block squared, x squared minus 6x squared, the equation then becomes y squared equals 7y minus 12. Notice we just replaced the blocks with y's. We now have an equation we can solve like any other equation by first making the equation equal to 0 by subtracting 7y and adding 12. Now we have y squared minus 7y plus 12 equals 0. And then factoring the equation to y minus 4, y minus 3 equals 0. Again, if you want to review factoring, you can go back to some of the factoring videos where that's gone over in detail. And then we can set each factor equal to 0. y minus 4 equals 0, and y minus 3 equals 0. By adding 4, we get our first solution, that y equals 4. And by adding 3, we get our second solution, that y equals 3. However, this problem did not ask us to solve for y. This problem wants us to solve for x. To do that, we're going to substitute and replace both of these y's in y equals 3 and y equals 4 with what y equals, the equation x squared minus 6x. So for the first one, x squared minus 6x equals our first solution, 4. And for the second one, x squared minus 6x equals our second solution, 3. These are both set up to complete the square right now, so let's solve these by completing the square. We've already separated the numbers from the variables, and so we find the number to complete the square, which is half of 6 squared. Half of 6 is 3, and 3 squared is 9, so we're going to add 9 to both sides of the equation, giving us x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 13. The left side now factors to x minus 3 squared equals 13. Taking the square root of both sides gives us x minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 13. And finally, adding 3 to get the x alone gives us our first pair of solutions, that x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 13. Let's solve the other equation. Again, same idea, completing the square, half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9, so we'll add 9 to both sides, giving us x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 12. The left side then factors to x minus 3 squared equals 12, and we can take the square root of both sides to clear the square. On the right side, 12 factors to 4 times 3, and 4 is 2 times 2. This means we can pull a 2 out of the radical. We get plus or minus 2 square root of 3. Add 3 to both sides to get our final answer, that x is equal to 3, plus or minus 2 square root of 3. So we have four solutions to this equation x equals 3 plus square root of 13, 3 minus the square root of 13, 3 plus 2 root 3, and 3 minus 2 root 3 are all solutions to the original equation. We found those solutions by making a new variable equal to that block that showed up twice, once normal, once a squared, giving us a new equation which we could solve. Then we substituted back to x's and solved those remaining equations, this time by completing the square, because they were all set up for us to do so.